All right. Hello, everybody. This is one v one OGPO week five recap, and then the semis preview too, because they're actually up at the time that I'm recording. Uh, yeah. So the last week was pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> not gonna lie. Like the top teams won, like the Manaphy's won, and then the Snorlax is won. But I mean, who knows how the ADB would have went? Um. So it just really just came down to this, and then the Warriors won pretty handily. Um, the strap and subbing in to save the season. Um, with how it happened, the swap the war uh, bleh. with how the week turned out, the Wooler would have just had to tie with the Manaphy's winning, and then the Rhydon's losing, or like at best tying by this. So uh, yeah. Um. I'll just I'll probably look at some games from last week and then uh, talk about the teams that are out and then get the semis. Um, so yeah, here we go. Do predicts. So yeah, I did a lot of work for this, but none of it came to fruition. So sad. It's okay. The yeah, ecstatic made this post and then they made playoffs. That's all I'm saying. Okay, first blood Oras one v one. Drip Legend vs. PA, I think. Uh, let's see. Could not connect it. That's, that's not real. Yeah, okay. Blessing Core. This is a Solar Farewell Mania team. It's a Metagross 2 1, obviously. But, uh, Drip Legend does not click the 2 1 and gets defeated by Gardevoir. Which might be one of the only Pokemon more broken than the Metagross 2 1. Um. I don't even remember what happened this game. So just play. It doesn't seem kind of mega Charizard weak, but there's a Garden Manaphy though. That's fine. This team got Mew Guard Beatran. It seems seem kind of powerful. What happened? Pack Watch. Oh, that was Trick Room on this team? Damn. He kind of crazy. Uh. Unfortunately, the Gardevoir played one of the only ones that beats it, so... Yeah. So, Drip Legend brings this team that's, like, known. Then PA decides to load up motherfucking Umbreon Slack and Vix. What? Like... This team is some trash, bro. Like... As we'll see, it's kind of weak to Zard. And then, we see the next thing that uh, kind of loses to Manaphy. Um... Yay, gets owned. I mean, PA just like didn't know the team because it's not a subzar on this team. Uh, so PA got on for that. It was in Durzard though. I'm pretty sure it was in Durzard. And then it's banned DOS specs model. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Umbreon actually just 3 out if you put Charm. But I don't think. Actually, the Mellow's probably a focus class. <coughs> So I think I actually had a good match there very secretly, but it was in Durzard. Anyway, uh, Drip Legend brings this again. PA decides to run back Umbreon Slacking, I guess. And does not have a good Manaphy matchup, as you can maybe see. Uh, decides to go Slacking, but unfortunately it is cussed that. And this is GG's 4. And, uh, PA doesn't get- PA doesn't get any misses. But miss- actually, he did get a miss, but it doesn't matter because of Geron. Mm, so yeah, that's PA pack. Um, we have another Oras. Oh, why, why am I not connected to this? Okay, nice. Let's see, uh, Lucario. Actually, you have no springs like lose to Gyarados Mega. Um, so it's probably like Counter Guard with Sard. Ends up being Wisp Sard. Um, you can also Megas turn 1 for no reason whatsoever! Like, what? Oh my god. You're supposed to stay- I mean, I guess you predicted, like, hard Stone Edge, maybe? I don't know, bruh. Anyway, um... Yeah, I, like... I don't think either player used a damage cap in this game. Like, okay, let me play this back in normal. Okay. So, Mega DD is correct. I would say regular and risk, but if you predict hard stone edge, then you know it's fine. Let's see, DD DD twice is, I think DD twice is actually reasonable, but you have to DD a third time, I think. 
But it also depends on what the Zard spread is. Because if you are, um... On this turn, turn 2, if you're fighting max defense Impish, this Outrage is not going to 2 a KO turn 2, and you're going to lose. <laughs> it's a funny... That's why I always say, like, Wisp's, like Wisp Impish Zard beats Gara by force. Because minus, or plus 1 burned Outrage doesn't 2 a KO it. Or it's like a roll to 2 a KO it. Obviously depends on the investment, but... Uh, most Gara should not 2 a KO it. 2 v 2 plus. Um... Play Music Loud. I don't think so. I don't know. Um, I'll turn it down a little bit though. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like he's just outrage here. <laughs> but I'm also not looking at the kill because outrage here definitely didn't kill. Um, so she should have DD'd again. I think. I don't know if they're. I don't think they're calking. I think it seems the cardio calc turn one and then no other turn. Um, I don't know. But like, the card should not have lost that because that wasn't max def impish, so it should still be winning. Um, because you, since you've knows hard mega, it, sh it should be winning for him. Uh, if he didn't hard mega, then it could have been sus because you knows can like mega on a stone edge or a waterfall, and it's good for him, but yeah, whatever. That was a pretty nice this game. Uh, this game. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was he went lop on something. I don't even know what he went lop on, because it ends up being like at a lop and being slower. <laughs> like was that into like? I guess it was into AG. There's no faith in um. I got black one music play. He does good play. Uh, is that into AG and it's no crunch Gera? Nobody knows. But even no crunch Gera should win. So, yeah, nobody knows what this lop was. It wasn't Scarf Gen. Scarf Gen doesn't 3L because of the AG. Who, I'm pretty sure AG is just people fall season mm -hmm. one. But yeah, so that was the game. So these were these were two pretty pretty funny games, I think. And in this game, Macario is kind of lost to Volcanion. It would probably have to be like Specs Tram, but he goes Sableye and decides to recover turn one. Uh, forgetting RS mechanics. Um, doesn't matter. But. Uh, I'm pretty sure Yufnos is also, is also supposed to overheat turn 1, but uh, maybe didn't have it. Um, yeah, they're supposed to overheat. Overheat even beats CM. Uh, yeah, so that was the series. <coughs> we had two Auras series happen. There's Wednesday, Thursday Auras. God bless. Alright. Anyway. So Yufnos is on the Snorlax, is obviously. And then Drip Legend on the Manaphy, so Manaphy's 1-0, Snorlax is 1-0. Uh, Snorlax is obviously, like, locked first seed already. So, as we see in this series, they kind of started trolling. Oh my god, let me connect. That was called Gorilla vs. Siphon, he brings Rhydon. Um, he's Rhydon. I don't, I don't have anything to say about that. Does not click the Rhydon. And it seems Siphon was worried about the Rhydon, question mark. I don't know. I don't really know what the zone was into. Maybe this. There's no way zone was like the best counter into Zavdos. If it was custom, it probably didn't matter because it was probably teched on a. Uh, um, this is probably like three attacks teched Life Horde. This is what I'd guess. So I don't think like if sound hit. I mean, it probably wasn't custom because it didn't click in dirt. But I don't know. Pack, pack watch. Uh, this game. Gorilla brings zoomers, rip zoomers. Uh, fortunately, the Spectre matchup isn't great. Um, you see a Hydro miss. It's kind of crazy, actually. Is Epic on toss? Probably should have seen him there. I don't know. This is the law of a mill. Cause yeah, it did hit, hit a lot of hit, hit it three hydro pumps to win. If he hit turn one, turn two, turn three, he won, I think. But he did not. So GG. Uh, this game. Zygarde into absolutely no Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't know what this, this is into Chansey? Yavirsh? I don't know. Yeah, Chansey W. Um, yeah, that was funny. Uh, and then Gorilla brings this like... <laughs> this seems pretty funny, honestly. 
Seems as like a high pass mon. Actually, Umbreon's faster than Magson, actually. Anyway. You go Umbreon here and win. Oh yeah, thank you for the joy. <laughs> that was I think that was Ban Pull. 59 looks like Ban Pull versus Umbreon. And yeah, oh yeah, Gorilla was playing um his major series during the series. Yeah, Gor Gorilla improves to 4-1. And then Snorlax is go 2-0. Uh TPP series, Little Lem vs. Lumi. Lid in uh oh yeah. Because they were locked in, the Snorlax is swapped Lid in Euphanos. And then the Wooler Warriors free notator. They had Joker on one at the start of the week, but then they put in strategy. Um I don't think any other roster swaps happen. Anyway. Uh anyway, DBP right. See, I'm just gonna let this series play, no analysis. So, you see, let me click Jirachi, which is the best Zapdos answer. C35, C38, that gets two flinches, SGGs. I think that's, it that might be banned damage. But I think it depends on the King just spread. I could calc to figure it out, but I'm not. But this Jirachi was definitely the Zapdos answer, somehow. But Jirachi also, it, it might have been an 03 too. If, if it just like failed to beat Zapdos, so. Yeah, that's just a Jirachi moment. Uh, then we see another Jirachi moment too, except they both pick it. Um, we're gonna play this game on fast, because we, we ended up seeing sub versus uh, so, some non-disclosed leftovers. And it ends up being sub as well, but... Sp showing speed is the most important stat in the game. Uh, it is always faster. Unless this was like... I guess we'll see like 10 speed ties one for lit, which is probably not the case. Now we see, let's, uh, actually, no, no, not this turn. There's a turn that we see that Lemon decide to not substitute, which we'll see. Yeah, I think it's here. They just, like, decided to not substitute. <laughs> and, then, and then the next turn he stubs as an MET waves, which is so funny. <laughs> so he could have just lost the game there if he just ate that T wave. That was so funny. Oh my god. But, like, yeah, Lemon should never be able to win that because, uh, let's faster. Anyway, let's see. Uh, I don't even know what happened here. Uh, I'm gonna guess an Infernape was clicked. Oh yeah, this is Jirachi and Infernape, I think. Okay, and then we see a Hard Blast Burn. And then it's Akaberry. GG's. <coughs> uh, yeah, that's Jirachi being a good Pokemon. And we see no Jirachi game 5. Um, but Lit brings up po Poopy Balls, Raikou matchup. Um, See, we about to come out, which can technically win with like, uh, just like attacking, but it ends up being pressure stall. So yeah, PPS versus PPS stall matchup. Um, we see Taunt turn two. School. We see lit misplay here. You should definitely be attacked because you just you're just losing a round of leftovers for fun. Um, and then when you look at Taunt turns, it, it, what he had was sub tech sub when he would have protect sub protect. Um, I don't think that matters, but he did. It does matter because he just like lost um, a round of leftovers recovery. It also matters because on this turn, like, like on this turn, like, Lumi can do something that isn't attacking here because Lit has a tech turn as the taunt wears off. Um, or if Lit had a sub turn, uh, Lumi doing something else. Maybe have been more dangerous. As we see, Lumi, yeah, Lumi just gets a free text. If this was a sub turn for Lit, then uh, that tech would have been probably not clicked, is what I would assume. Yeah, uh, this game continues. See Lit sub twice on a toxic at play. And then we do detected. Text is a good play. But Lumi makes a good play in return and text. We see a Night Slash come out, which is pretty interesting. Um, it adds a wrinkle to the whole Pressure Star game. Because this is like, not your usual Pressure Star versus Pressure Star, because both sides have an attack. One, one side has Taunt. So, it's a bit unintuitive how to play, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I don't really blame Lip for the misplays that he made this game. Uh, he already made one. And we'll see the other one that cost him in a bit, a few turns. Uh, Lumi only has 5 T-Bolts, not 4. Uh, which means that Lumi has to make plays to win. 
For example, here, maybe a substitute comes out from Lumi, or a text, as we see. Um, but Lim makes a great play in subs. See a text. Lumi, Lumi makes a good play in subs. It's really good. And here, this is the misplay because Night Slash. Okay, so let's, let's, let's look. They're both behind the sub, right? And then Lumi has three Thunderbolts. Um, if if you uh, let me see. Yeah, 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 okay, what I'm, saying, what I'm about to say is correct, right? Because, actually, I'll let the entire game play out, and then I'll go back. Okay, so, then Night Slashes, uh, when he has a free turn instead of Taunting. And then, you see Lumi click a good tech, a uh, good Toxic on a tech, because there's only two T-Bolts. And, Lumi's problem here is that Lit is going to be able to get a sub here, because, because, like, because of how <laughs> he just does. Because he gets up to 26 with this leftovers around. So Lumi has to get the T-Bolt on sub. And then he she has to get the T-Bolt on like the Weavile without a sub. So Lumi dodges one. And then here she has a free Thunderbolt unless it decides to double attack. And here it's just a 50-50 because there's one more. Um, and Lumi gets it right. And then Lit doesn't get the double attack. Um... So yeah, let's go back. So yeah, Lit Night Slash here. Night Slash here is a throw. Um, I don't really know why he Night Slash. Um, if you taunt here... Okay, so first of all, you take the last turn. So Tech is not a play. You're just going by process of elimination. You're obviously not subbing because you have a sub up already. Then you look at what Lumi's going to do. Lumi's going to attack like almost for sure this turn, right? But, I mean, if Lumi does something else, it's just like... Why? Uh, like Lumi could tech. Um, I don't think Lumi teching does anything for her, because that just gives you lefties. Um, I don't know if getting giving you lefties um, does anything actually. Because, um, but uh, I don't think it gives you an extra sub if you get an extra round of lefties. Um, so yeah, Lumi's basically always gonna attack, right? So we know that. So. And then we also know that Lumi has three T-Bolts. And we also know that, that what the Weavile's win con here is, is PP stalling the Thunderbolts, right? And then, and then if the um, if the Thunderbolts are PP stalled, then Taunt wins. And then Bright is forced to struggle, and then you can Night Slash, right? Taking all those things into account, uh, if you just Taunt here, uh, turn 17, we see that the game ends up being one, two, three more turns, right? Or it doesn't end up being three more turns, but it ends up being four more turns. But, I mean, Tom lasts three turns, and there's three Thunderbolts left, so it could have just been turn 17, Taunt, Thunderbolt, Tech on Thunderbolt, Sub on Thunderbolt, and then it would have been game, because it's it's out. Then you just Tech, and then Taunt, and then Tech, and then, yeah, you just get leftover with HP back, but right? Struggle doesn't do enough, and then you can Light Slash, and then Michael loses. So, uh, yeah, that was an unfortunate occurrence uh and then i mean lit also could have just gotten one of these turns right uh turn 20 wait was it two turns right yeah no it was turn 18 then turn 20 like could have also gotten one of these turns right so it ended up being two fifty fifties anyway and then he also could have double detected but he did not so yeah overall i'd say lumi played that well well um but those, those couple of misplays cost lit. Unfortunately. Fortunately it doesn't matter for their team, but got one back in the board for the Rhydons. Okay, I can't connect to any of these grief plays, I guess. Okay. Uh Glacier's Nicholas and Alkalus. Play. Easy. Ferrothorn. This is PZ probably has the Ferrothorn answer, as you see his Reflect Helmet. And he obviously... I don't know if MP's the play. Maybe you can just recover. He ends up recovering again to put it into range. It probably already was in range, but he ends up missing anyway. So, uh, GG. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, let's see the Calc. This 59 to 69. Where's the self vest? Was it actually a self vest Ferrothorn? <laughs> Oh yeah, he showed that it was a stuff as well. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely an orange. Anyway. Uh, where did I go to on? Let's see. Yeah, what even was the moment he's answered here, actually? I guess Feeny? Anyway. Is he Kawakas Kawasta? Bro, what? What is, what is this man? I ends up seeing Muscle Band? What? <coughs> and then. As a 25 percent Ugh, my voice. No. Okay. <coughs> voice saved. Uh, 25% chance to Oko, plus Stone Edge hit, <coughs> which is basically a 0% chance, but Borglitch gets it. And then the last game, uh, see Wild Charge would like you do it. Might have been Screech. It probably was Screech, because it's Life Orb. So it beat Zero, so that was kind of a 3 -0. So, yeah, Glitch just 3 0 Nicholas. Gets, gets lucky though. Uh, close subs out, pretty Coker in. And we see Autumn versus Cave Black White. Um, I spent so much time on the Lit series. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so actually, see, they've seen kind of fresh like a lot. See, I don't go guard. I don't know why the guard board went out. But it ends up working because K plays just like bulldozes for zero reason whatsoever. Because this is not on core disable mon. And could have clicked Dragon Gem Outrage. But yeah. Um, it doesn't get on core in, in 5. It might get disabled. I mean, if you get disabled, then you can just pull those after. Last game, I guess, I don't know what to pick into. Maybe Landris on the Ninetales, because Ninetales was jealous on Tancer. Last game, we see... I don't know how Latios lit that. Because <laughs> that was like, ban that was banned meta, but... That was that had to have been like an insane roll, actually. In this game, it seems that Cave Place is not to beat Zapdos, because this Crystal was not equipped to defeat it. So, yeah, jeez. Autumn ends up going 3 1 for the tour, so good for her. Let's see. So, we see Doctrine of Doll versus Torterra. I saw David insta click this series, which is kind of fresh. Yeah, we see Gardevoir come out. Because Gardevoir is OP. This was like a pretty bad slow bro, I think. I think this is into like Scarf D Knight. But I don't think that was a good play. Yeah, I think that was kind of kind of poor from Torterra. He also lost to this guard. This was his like. I mean, his counter is the Tran. And Balloon Tran loses to CM guard. And because Torterra is the Balloon Tran. Uh. Just always use a balloon tran. Always use a balloon tran. Uh, we see a reno renovated Umbreon team. Like static. But this is also a card of War 3 0. Because it's just HP fire, because it's the Gen Dancer. So, GG. Uh, um, it doesn't actually beat Sard, but yeah, we, we can pretend. It actually might beat Sard. I don't know. I don't know. This game, this is a really good Gengar matchup, but it's Specs and it's fast DD Giga. So Gengar gets exploded. This game, uh, it's kind of a sussy game. Let me play it. Yeah, so you see a Specs Chan come out and then Exetico HP Crown Venu. Um, it also be bro. This is a yeah. This is like why Bean is broken actually. This Heatran wins versus non. Actually, it doesn't even win versus non HP Crown because it can also lose to Leech. Like Sleep Powder Leech also wins. Um, and if his HP Fire Gen lost, unless it was bulky. So yeah, that was his. That was his Venusaur being broken. Yeah, Ecstatic armed with Venusaur is actually OP. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna look at this series because this is LRXC vs MREX, and LRXC made a really cool post com of it, so you should go watch that instead. Uh, highly recommend, it's always cool to see Logan's process. Uh, he brought some cool teams though. So, yeah, uh, highly recommend. Uh, it's only short, it's like 20 minutes too. Which is like, this video has already been 20 minutes, jeez. Okay. I'm sorry, 1 and 7 vs Frosty. Dude, am I even looking at this series? I guess it was because it was like. Playoff implications. Let's see. 
at Golem W. Let's see this game. I think both brothers team last week. Ferrothorn W. You can tell he hates Ferrothorn too. He brought it. Oh, was there a hard outrage place? I guess, I guess it was Coral. Why don't you like hard Z and try to crit turn one? I don't know. Uh, this game, oh, this game is funny. Right here, lost to Richie Steel. No body press needed. This game, Gardevoir W. Look how, Gard look how broken Gardevoir is in all gen gens, by the way. See this game, Mar Marowak gets defeated by Zygarde. No! In game 5, this is a slacking W probably, yeah. Scarf, by the way. So if it was sub torrent, I mean, the grand had to be sub torrent, I'm pretty sure. I'm hard to win that, so GG's. Mmm, one six, okay. This, this series is funny. We're back to seeing the Snorlax use memes. Uh, gotta go with the speed of light, though. Alright, so first of all, De Desmond trades game 1 by bringing Spexera. Uh, Desmond trades game 2 by bringing Earthswing Jinx and then getting defeated by. But like, he thinks, he's, thinks he's fresh by bringing in Duratran and SM. But it ends up being not Specs Grand. So, Desmond trades game 2. And, let's see. In game 3, he brings a real team. But this story just was not real, so he didn't pick it. It just one with Sock. 64% is the chance of hitting two stone edges. Um, I think that was Band Sock versus Nod Star for Canyon. Maybe Z move. Uh, this game is a Medicham W. He gets a crit, which doesn't, I don't think matters because it's our back. Um, in this game, we see Dion. Man, I don't even know why Band would pick Dion like that, actually. Like, surely Victor him were better odds. I mean, he might have just been through that, though. I don't know if this is the best odds that Bandit had. In this game, kind of Chad hacks his pick. Team Gardevoir gets packed. No! The one Gardevoir lost this week. I made that stat up, but it's probably true. Um, yeah. Most of this team, if you want to use Breon. Uh, Maki Fox versus SMB. Five. Suck him up balls versus Fox Apprentice. Let's see what happens. Sally versus Shaman Trick. Miss a seed player. Uh, I don't think a seed player, that seed player miss matter because I think Maki needed a drop to win anyway. Because 3 KO. Because um, Psychic 3 KO'd. This game, Maki brings bad in for an 8 match versus SMB. Um, I mean, it's not like speed it because it wasn't like fighting gem or anything like that. <laughs> um, maybe sub reversal wins. Oops, why can sub reversal? Jesus. I don't know. Last game, SMB does not defeat Kodio, which is strange because you'd think this is Scarf. Um, easy, but it's not. So, yeah. This game we see SMB get unfortunate. We see Rock Tomb. I don't know why it's Rock Tomb, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's the accurate Rock Tomb, but I would think you'd run Bulbos instead, so you don't risk miss. In this game, SMB does not defeat Genocide, it seems. Um, ends up being Water Absorb, Stall. And then SMB rages because he got unlucky. I mean, it's Maki's Fox. Maki gets lucky a lot. Oh, you know, yeah. Hey, uh, luck happens. <laughs> yeah, why am I so congested right now? No, not like this. Look at that. Uh, he turned Shaman's broken. Uh, we see Earthgirl versus Akaros. Yeah, look at these dude. Look at these dudes bringing two of the same type. We see double fighting, double steel. The Earthgirl was double steel is, I think, quite a bit more viable. I feel like Heatran and Genesect can buy quite strange. I feel like those guys do a lot of the same thing. It's kind of interesting. I know play. I don't even. I don't think I watched this series. Uh, we see the shaman two one. See a low suit get clicked. I'm pretty sure that's banned. Thirty six feels like banned. Um, it wasn't finding gem two. But yeah, it doesn't end up winning. 
It also doesn't end up needing to have to hit a seed flare. You also see no item revealed on Shaman, so it was probably Akadari. Or like Arc 9, I think. I miss. Very right, next game. Main Shadow Thunder's Tran. Kind of interesting. I'll load this. I'll, I'll probably load this. Seems kind of fresh. Here, Manaphy's like self meta, kind of. Z Tech. I don't know why it's Tech there. It's kind of interesting. It ends up being Tech Chapel, too. Um, the Main Shadow's unfortunately defeated. The yeah, Agress is just like stealing the Black Black Widow you said. Kind of crazy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why is there a cool fight in Kakna on my screen? The yeah, Agress, like. So Wadu's tech from 2021 and Dom's tech from 2020 and then just put a heat train with it. I respect it. There's no way this defeats Thunderous though. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if that was Spikes or Heat. I doubt it. But, I mean, this is Thunderous probably vote for Keld Hydro, so that might have been Spikes. I don't know. It wasn't Scott, so. Who knows? In this game, we see a male slow girl. Interesting. Let's see what happens here. I'm guessing when Sokka and Krusso Surf wins this game. That feels like the most, yeah. All ends up being Rock Slide. Alright, GG's. My Rock Blast didn't matter. Because Rock Blast plus it just doesn't kill. Large on Rock Blast, even with 5 hits. Anyway, so Swallows win another game, but Goku won one subs out for Stravage. It's so Stravage and to save the season. Um. This happened on like, yeah, like Saturday late night. Um, Shaman says this is one of the most epic and thrilling series that I'm a part of. Let's be as pain, DPP is better. I honestly might agree. It may be time to free DPP and PL. Also, here's Logan's video. I'll link, I'll link it in the description. It, it's, it's a cool video. Anyway. So this game, I, I like skimmed the replays of this because I was... Curious what happens. So we see Encore Clef versus Sub Coon. Sub Tech Coon, probably. Uh, I won't use the, the 6v6 name for it because this is for only one. Kind of broken Encores, by the way. Um, so I think Blurn plays this correctly as that tech on Encore was so huge for PP actually. I'm gonna start spamming counter because he recognizes that he needs to keep his S tosses. So that's good play. Um, but I really wonder if this means that he just loses. Uh, he gets the S toss on tech, which is big. Uh, he toxics for like no actual reason. Um, but I think, like, does this not have surf? I mean, surely you have to surf to give yourself a chance, right? Uh, I don't know. But he manages to win with one. S toss remaining and zero on course, so I don't know, it confused me. It's just like no surf, no ice beam. I I don't know. Maybe breast? Surely you click breast. So it can't be bad. I don't know. I feel like that was just misplayed by the plant. Anyway, let me just click. And the cut has won. The Metagross 2 1 defeated. Dude, Blurm had a, like a Metagross 2 1 2 and then click it. Shred. Uh, this game, Shrevenge has kind of bad Kingdra matchup. But. Blurm misses a Hydro. But. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Yeah, I forgot about this game actually. So Blurm misses Hydro. And it's just like, oh no, aren't you? No. And Shrevenge played this correct, hoping for the first miss and attacking. And then enduring on the second one to try to kill now. But it's fucking tech from Joe, which is hella funny actually. <laughs> so that's bad. Anyway. Uh, Yahari Yama did pick, but it didn't, it's Boka, but it does not end up defeating Scizor because it's aerial ace for uh, air cross magic, I guess. Uh, this is loud. Maybe it's only not on my end though. Anyway, and then game five, Flurm does not have a good hair cross matchup, and then yeah, this is like banned Ozu doesn't kill. Anyway, I gotta hurry. Sancho versus Dennis. I didn't watch the Xander versus Bomb series, so I need to 
boxes. Franz Alticon. How many series are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. This should be fine. I'll just fast click through these. This is good. I play. Then this goes PC because the Dark Pulse Finch defeats Ferrothorn. Uh, this game we see Mayor Wife Alola get brought, I guess. Um, that shit dies in one to Life Orb Hex. Jesus. <laughs> this game, Heatran, Gotran has defeats the Zarud, and that was the pick into Rillaboom. Uh, this game, you see Guja being, getting defeated by a Tran because it doesn't run coverage for Tran in this tier. So, GG. In this game, there's a Togekiss 2 1, so Sancho picks it. Um, but unfortunately, it ends up being slower than zone, so it's probably T wave. You can't T wave electric types. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Alright, let's see. Xander versus Bomb is a battle of the Titans, so I have to watch it. Uh, Alright, so the C team, I'm guessing Lele is the C team here. Maybe the Trans U. Okay, so we see Lele. But Bomb is Bomb doesn't use Pokemon. Okay, so why is this a uh, subbing into Swarm, I guess? Okay. <laughs> so I guess Bomb predicted Custab, and then Xander just like didn't give a fuck, I guess. <laughs> That's wild. Anyway, Xander's bringing some kind of real teams, but I don't think Bomb defeats Kirim. Draco, Custab, Draco, gone. Alright. <laughs> Uh, there's no way we. I don't think the Xander C teamed actually. There's no way Weezing's a C team. But a Ban Landris is. That's true. The Bomb brought new mods. Gigalith Pattern. It's a new mods. Uh, yeah, Xander didn't C team because Xander brought this team versus Waylaid. Um, isn't this just a Sylveon on W? Oh, Pack Watch. <laughs> yeah, GG's. I'm pretty sure Sylveon won that game though. Oh, Sylveon doesn't be oh, but like Bombs is like Scarf Guard, I think. Actually, no, he uses like CM Draining because I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Anyway, ADV Marshmallow versus EV Kid. I think Marshmallow like your game in this series. Let's see. Uh, gotta hurry. Gotta hurry though. Anyway. Uh, we see Toxic Tauros just 3 0 in. Actually, I don't think it beats Dorgy. But that's a good Tauros matchup. In this game, Swampert into no one at all. I guess it was into IQ. He just gets exploded by Machamp critting. Uh, this game, IQ. Jirachi into who? What? I guess it was Jirachi into Regice. But, I mean, Sculpin's Raikou, you're just not winning that. So GG. In this game, um, oh yeah, this is the game that Marshmallow took here. So Charm. Uh, cross job, no crit, which is crazy. See, Marshmallow to Surf. And then we see Charm roll 37. Um, and then, I don't know if Marshmallow is like, not rest. But, uh... Um, no crit, no dodge. I think it was... Scopeland's what's... So yeah, I guess he only charmed once because of crit odds, because... I mean... Yeah, I guess that's fair. This crush up has high crit ratio. So like charming twice. Yeah, I guess if you click more serves, you can crit more, but especially if you're skull friends. So I guess that's fair. So I, I skip this. Mm -hmm. Alright, music's now disappeared, by the way. Even I can't hear it. Oh, uh, what's. Oh, my music is actually just like muted, actually. Right, I'm smart. Okay. Web servers returning an unknown error. What? No, you can see the Chicago cop there. It's a host error, that of course it's a host error. Dude, this shit is crazy, what? Okay, anyway. Uh, we see so you can get exploded by Zapdos, Zapdos W. Make sure if I keep refreshing it'll work. Correct, okay. Also, Shadow Time cannot pick, does not pick the P212. 
So it's defeated by Swamper, but I'm pretty sure Swamper might just be PT. I don't know. Alright, bro, this is actually so scuffed. <laughs> okay, this is Gyarados 3 I think. This ends up being DD Bounce. Um, but Scarf Press could have tricked. Right. And then devoided a flinch, but it's not. It also could have been Spiked HP Electric Infernape, but it's not. Uh, in this game, this first number just picks Weakman again as Shadow Time picks into the T Tar. And it's the. The first numbers gets another one on the board. Delamon versus Adam. This was like a deciding game. Because if Delamon won this, then Wulu secured playoffs, I think. Or secured its tiebreak. Dude, why is replays just like fucking me right now? It's so sad. This is, this is like the secret reason why the video is taking so long for this. Or like mostly meaningless games. So yeah, I'll probably skip the Rajno series. I'll watch Squirtle. Okay, I'll watch these last two ones because oh, I'm listening to three games. It's probably clip doable. Anyway, uh, game one. Uh, Adam subs in for Charm. Uh, it was in this game five. I was game five the first one that I clicked on. That's alright, but <laughs> so we see pretty standard Dragon Fairy Steel. We see two Ferrothorn plus Feenies. Turns out that's banned for as well with no body press, I guess, and is defeated by opposing ID. The same we see double Reggie Celestila. You don't really see a corp, so that's interesting. I think like Bow and Charm have used this with Corp. Um it's like banned Arcanine, I guess, and just died. So there you go. That's how broken Trigger was, by the way. Uh, I guess how Arcanine was picked into I guess. He hoped that would kill Reggie Drago, but Reggie Drago's broken. This team's just been. Delamon makes some crazy shit, bro. What the hell? Um, I heard this game was funny because, like, it's faster player of Arcanine, but it, like, literally just didn't win because Body Press crit. So, there's no way that that um, Body Press killed without the crit, by the way. That's my opinion. And we see Cart uh, ends up being banned. Um, no Iron Defense on. Poco, but high crit rate on cards, so I was probably not winning. Uh, but I think the reason we play this card me is because I'm opening something. That's probably why. Yeah, okay, this game we see we see Sleep Powder Venu take a life in uh in SM. I don't know why he's Sleep Powder. That was like probably a throw. What if he sucked? It was GG. Your players are being janky. Yeah, they are. Okay. Uh, game two, I fall, I sleep at this SMP view. Freddy picks the 2 1 Prim, is defeated by Gardevoir 2 1. So, uh, yeah, goodbye. Freddy probably should have seen. I think Z was the play, but I don't know. Probably didn't matter. And Freddy picks into Venu again, and then, but Rajno picks the Mega Charizard 1 2, and defeats Freddy. If he's his team in Aura, his team's good in Aura. Yeah, it's kind of weak to talk, though. Yeah, Freddy Pack, uh... So, Garchomp's already lost, more like out of the tour at this point. But Squirtle still played a good series versus Lancer. we will still click through it. Um, we see Tran, <coughs> the picks. Ends up not being Taunt Tran. So he's defeated. He needed, he needed to get the overheat right, but he just hard, um, conceded. It's kind of a Chad play. Um, so yeah, ends up being a cussed up area train, which is kind of interesting in SM. So ORS set. Yeah, I would use this team in ORS probably. The OS Gyarados meta. It's like Raging Cosco with TOS. Uh, Mega Charizard get Kitch. And then you see a Mega Charizard YW. What a good mod. <laughs> Pokemon. Who you old even? What a good mod. Uh, Squirtle goes into his instant answer, which also reels, but um, he's not killing Sam somehow. This instant is just broken. And we see Sableye, which I guess is the Curamancer, but he just gets stalled out. And we end up seeing it being Dig Sableye, which is, I guess, the Heatran answer for this team. But 
Yeah, save light is not defeat stall here, I'm unfortunately. Um, let's see. Just go pick Keezy. No fear of card, and just explodes Arachnid. I guess that was Arachnid into the Mana Metagross 2 1, which is respectable. Link 6. Uh, Lancer's up 3 1 at this, 3 2 at this point. Uh, so Scroto has to win. Scroto, it's like common from me to W, I guess. Sub turn 1 and then gets to see me. E. Is that 3 0? I think it kind of 3 0. Because it should, unless like, there's no way Crustle just kills your cards actually. Or with like Band. So I'm probably just awkward to it. And this looks like Garchomp wins. Let's see. Yeah, just spamming Earthquake. Just Earthquake twice and then Z, right? Or I think he has to get the good damage rolls and then he can Z. Let's see what's happening. Blocked him a couple of times, I guess. 28, 29. 28, 29, then you can Z. Yeah. Okay. That was, a, that was a solid series. I wish I watched that live and I wish that series mattered, but it did not. So, unlucky. And this is the last series of the week. Um, how much time do I have? Uh, it's been 46 minutes. Jesus. Let's see, Let's see this bowl pick the Entei 2 1, or this potato pick the Entei 2 1 here. Uh, I'm gonna guess he does. He does. Uh, oh. It was weakness policy. Yeah, ban sacred fire, dude. Jesus. <laughs> because, dude, like, Bull literally won without that. Um, that's crazy, actually. Ban sacred fire. Holy shit, dude. Really banning spore on a movie spin on sacred fire. Jesus. Uh, let me see if Rhydon get brought, <coughs> but not picked. But that was. It all expertly picks into this one for 2 1, and then ends up being draining kiss and just winning. I think that was not banned Swampert because 32 is zero damage for Ban. But Heaney is also broken, so who knows. Uh, Chansey. Chansey is like a 0 3 here, unfortunately. Actually, I think Charm Charm beats Air Costa. And then, dude, this is like a Chansey 3 0 kinda. If you're like, if you like, play the Charm, if you're like Charm counter. Like a real. There's Tom Coco as well, so okay. I feel like Tom Coco just loses the S Tosman picks. I don't know. Maybe he has to get lucky. But Nick Chungus just goes this Arcanine and wins. And then Chungus goes up 3 0 in the best of seven, so decides it's time to load Raging God Squad and SS. Yeah. He has a good matchup, good ass matchup with it too. Which is I mean this is like CV gear is like really good here actually. It's like a if it's power whip and bounce, it's like a three L. So Stingy Fire 81 wins. You just and uh, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Mobs TSC dead game, Bone Locator dead game. And then Hungry Foodies the Alia Beast dead game. So uh, yeah. Um look at the teams that are out. Mm -hmm. The week since Manaphy's and Wulu won here in Kamai's. But uh, yeah, so Rhydon's, Autumn Bone, Yellow Bandit had good tours, Rajnod and Lilia B showed promise, Nini and Even, which is not bad. Uh, probably should have beat Virgie. Um, and the rest of their players just like did not really do well. So yeah. They probably did better than expected though because they didn't get last. I thought this lineup was like super getting last, but. These good performances up here did did well for them. So they ended up winning a week and tying a week. Uh Swalots. Saw Earth go Demon Time go 4-1. One. one of the best records in the tour, but uh why does it say 2-3 for Charm? I guess that doesn't have the Adam. Yeah, it doesn't have the Adam subbing in. So it should be Adam 2-1 and then Charm 2-2. Two, two. But Marshall to Bond, like, yeah. These guys kinda sunk them. And then it, I guess the rest just didn't put the weeks together. Like, no one got more than two wins, actually, besides Earth. It's just not how you win. 
So yeah, they just didn't win enough games, I guess. And then the Torterra Glade game just lit in week four cost them. Uh, they ended up losing anyway, but it kind of cost them for playoff standings. And then this Garchomp, they obviously drafted out Spicy, getting Spongebob played no games. And these guys all underperforms. Uh, Sancho did not have a good time and not black white this tour, unfortunately. And yeah, Squirtle and SMB were the shining lights, but <coughs> they couldn't quite carry it. And then, I don't know, this team had a lot of stuff around it with like L Spicy and James stuff. So, yeah, it's kind of kind of tough. The very teams that made it, Fulu, Scavenger uh, and Demon Time 4 1 in DPP. And then, solid, a lot of solid performances. No one really with a two. Too bad record. I press one three, but yeah, happens. Um, dude, this Joker's like minus seven k too. He's only played two weeks as a manager by, so they could have had like another solid player here. But uh, yeah, and, and then they shipped off Tom after Tom decided to Among Us them. So the Manaphy's board glitch three zero. Damn, I think board glitch like three out all of his games too. Actually, I don't think he threw out Gorilla. I think he threw one Gorilla. Yeah, this team is just solid all around. This team actually has nobody that has a bad, bad record. First number is 2-3 in his first tour. Yeah, not bad. This team is just solid. Definitely one of the contenders. And then Snorlax is um, the best team in the tour. 5-5-0, five, five, oh, Euphonos, 4-1, Gorilla, two of the best records. And then Chungus can win games. That's, that's positive. Um, they have Close going 2-2. Two, two, and they're still first seed by a lot, never losing a week. So, yeah. Anyway, now to preview playoffs. 51 minutes for the timestamp. Um, see, Manaphy's versus Wulu. See, Borg Glitch and Delamon wanted to play each other. I think Delamon's better than, than Glitch, honestly. But, I mean, they're two of the new gen players playing, so. I mean, these guys have probably friendly so much. It's kind of hard to predict what's going to happen. Um, Rio games are different than friendlies, though. So, I think Del Delamont has more experience and I think is better. So, I'd probably predict him. Uh, Dennis versus Xander. I mean, I gotta predict Dennis. But, I mean, Xander brings crack. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the crack can carry him. But I think SS is a gen where you can't really crack your way through, honestly. So, I, I think Dennis is gonna win. Uh, Waylay versus Frosty. Frosty's been having a good tour, honestly. Between World Cup and now, too. He's kind of, he's had some good wins, so... I'd probably slightly favor Waylaid, but definitely not surprised if Frosty wins. Mobs versus Notator, I'm obviously going to favor Mobs. This is like a must-watch live. I'll probably record that if I'm around. That That's a banger. Alright, so we have Drip versus Ecstatic. Um, Drip won last time, but he lost to Reggie Gigas. Um, I don't know, I think if Ecstatic carries his momentum from last week and loads Dom teams, he'll probably win. Uh... But Jip, the Jip's been looking quite good in RS though, so should be good. Should be a good series. Probably slightly. I, I probably slightly favor Ecstatic though. This is like this playoffs Ecstatic. Um, yeah, I think Ecstatic has like not won playoff games since PO4 actually. <laughs> Pretty sure that's like a real stat. I think he won, actually no, he won a World Cup four playoff. Third period. So that was good. Uh, yeah. Maybe Drip wins just because of ecstatic playoff nerf, actually. Uh, Lancer vs. Akpras, we have the Le French duel, the Francais. Um, do you who the Um, I don't know. I feel like Lancer wins. I mean, Lancer's, I think Lance made Lancer higher as a player, but I mean, Akpras brings a lot of the same cores and teams, so. I mean, Lancer doesn't prep, so he might not take advantage of it. I also haven't seen Lancer play Black White since, like, Huron Black existed. So, I mean, Lancer will probably be build new because of that, right? Like, surely he doesn't bring, like, teams from that long ago that are just, like, super outdated. He might, and he might win anyway, but I'll predict Lancer. Uh, Stravage versus Chris, I think, is super in Stravage's favor. Uh, then Maki versus Eevee Kid. I mean, Maki will probably win. They have good, good ADB support. Maki's been like hella trolling this tour since I stopped helping him. So, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I only helped him week one the rest of the tours. I like, he like asked, asked me random stuff, but I didn't really prep for him. But he's an ADV now. 
I'm free from black white prison. Dude, fuck, dude, fuck black white, dude. Real talk, new black white, add DPP to PL. That's chore safe. Because I guess DPP has players? I don't know. I think DPP, DPP is probably sustainable in PL. Who knows? Uh, that's a conversation for next month, I guess. Or in two months when PL starts. Anyway, uh, I guess I predicted a 5 3 for Manaphys. I'm going to guess that Manaphys lose one of these games, though. One of the SM games. But, yeah. I still fa I probably favor the Manaphys overall to win and move on to finals. See, and then tiebreak. See, what's going to happen in tiebreak? Uh. Probably go Dennis best of seven, unless Borglish wins. If Borglish wins, they should pick SS. And then they should have Glitch and Dennis. And then for the Wulu, they probably pick DPP. And then they have Ecstatic. They'll probably have Ecstatic and SS. Ec Ecstatic has a good record versus Dennis all time. So that could be bad for Manaphys if that happens. Um, so yeah, uh, I maybe favor the Wulu and tiebreak, honestly. Cause like Stravinch is like, who did they even send for Stravinch actually? Like they kind of just have to coin flip someone there. Like just some like maybe like Maki or Waylaid. Waylaid has tiebreak experience, so we so could definitely do him. They might send Waylaid SS too, maybe if Glitch loses. Cause I'm, I'm kind of struggling to see what the Mad Beast pick, cause it's kind of hard for him to pick a tier to Ecstatic. Cause Ecstatic's one of the best ADB players too. Maybe the best ADB player. So that's a hard pick. Um, like, they could black-white. Do they really want to pick black-white with Lancer, dude? That's, like, such a flip. And, it's and like, Ecstatic is not... Can, like, play black-white, so... And you're picking SM with the... X, SM with the Ecstatic is so sus, too. That's, like... Uh, maybe if... I don't know, dude. That's, that's kind of tough for them. Maybe if Drip wins, you pick ORS. I, I don't know. If it goes to Tyrek Manaphy, you just have to decide what they want to play into Ecstatic, I guess. Uh, let me refresh, see what people have posted so far. Uh, some close predictions, GOAT. The 11 predictive. Starting a trend tag that was broken for me. Dude, Nuzleaf has more... Hashtag pre meter Gengar. Facts. Um, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, should be a good semis. I'm looking forward to a lot of these, honestly. Dude, I hope it tie breaks. Do I hope it tie breaks? Well, tie breaks are always exciting, but... Dude, the Wulu has a banger tie break, actually. I didn't even realize. <laughs> so, see if they're, they're able to get there, though. Anyway, peace.